So arginase deficiency is a genetic disorder of RG metabolism. Um, and the, one of the main abnormalities in these patients is that they have very high levels of one of the amino acids called arginine in the, in the blood. And the, um, the disease has some very characteristic neurological abnormalities. Um, and the belief is that those high levels of arginine are driving those complications. So, so one of the very prominent manifestations is um, what's called sp is spasticity, particularly spasticity of the lower legs. Um, and I, and, one, and I, probably the thing that people would be familiar with about a child who's got spasticity would be a child with cerebral palsy. That's kind of what these kids initially look like um, with stiff hyperextended legs, difficulty walking, going upstairs. Um, but unlike cerebral palsy, this is a progressive disease, so it continues to get worse. So typically a child may present, you know, around about two, two to three years of age, a little bit of clumsiness, maybe tripping over a carpet, starting to have some challenges going up flights of stairs. And then over time, the mobility becomes increasingly impaired. Um, so they, they would have to hold a handrail walking a flight of stairs. They would have to use some walking aids. For, as it progresses for longer distances, they wouldn't be able to walk. They'll, they'll have to move about in a wheelchair. And then eventually, you know, as the disease progresses, they become wheelchair bound. So that's a very, it's a very characteristic manifestation. And it, there's a lot, there was a lot of information before we started at Iglia linking that abnormality to the toxic effects of arginine. Um, and then arginine also has some other toxic effects in the brains. It slows, it slows the development. Um, it, it, and over time, if, again, high levels for long periods can cause increasing intellectual, dis, intellectual disability. Um, and then the other thing that happens is, is it, it, it is classified as a group of diseases called the urea cycle disorders. So, um, so the other thing is these patients can have occasionally have high le levels of ammonia, um, which actually can make them feel, feel sick, that needs attention. But that's, that, that manifestation of the disease is a lot less prominent than in the other urea cycle disorders. The, the, the prominence in arginase deficiency are these abnormalities related to the high arginine.